This shooting by Chris Harper Mercer at Umpqua Community College in Oregon has affected me more than most of the other shootings because it's a reminder of something. It's a reminder of some of the anger I had towards religion in my later 20s. Religion destroyed me. And the whole Jesus concept never made any sense. And when I say religion, I mean organized Christianity. But the whole Jesus concept never made any sense. I got taught that animal sacrifices, human sacrifices, are of the devil. And so here's this Jesus concept. That he died for our sins. As a comedian who I can't remember the name of put it, it's almost like saying, I just hit myself on the foot with a shovel for your mortgage. You know, it just never made any sense to me. So when it came to sin, it was all about making sure I never do that, or I would feel the smite of God. I was taught that my own imagination was an abomination. My own conscience was an abomination. My own thoughts were wrong, were evil, were sinful. I was taught that to talk back to any adult was a horrible sin. That if someone punches me in the face, that having the desire to punch them back is a sin. That to defend myself in any way, no matter how I got wronged, was a horrible sin. I remember in sixth grade, I went to a friend of mine's house. We were in the backyard. And I said to him, do you promise you won't tell? And he goes, what? And I said, fuck. And he goes, okay, what were you going to tell me? I just did. And he just gave me this really strange look. For me, that was saying something that could get me punishment by God. Some of this is because of what I had went through when I was eight. Where I got raped at a church for about a year and of course was told those standard things if you say anything about this you will be punished by God but a lot of the other things were just things that were just generally taught by the churches to even think something sinful is a sin and they would always add on all these different things to make sure that we're always good children. Now I gotta say, I think it's actually a fortunate thing that until 2013 that I had blocked the memory of being raped. Because I don't know how I would have really handled that. 
in my teens and my twenties. I don't know how I would have handled that. I understand being angry at organized religion. I know that very, very well. I'm thankful that I had a support system. I'm thankful that I had good friends. I'm thankful that I had a gay support system, even though they taught some fear about other things. But when it was a constant thing of being taught that my very existence is an abomination, it made me angry. It made me very angry. And there was a period of depression I had went through one year in my later 20s. And there were things I never discussed with anyone except for one time. And I'm very glad that I did. Because the things that my friend Larry had said to me as a response started to get me out of that mode. But there were a few months where I was thinking, well, if I ever, if I kill myself, I'll blow myself up in the middle of a focus on the family meeting. So at one point, Larry and I had had a discussion about suicide. And he asked me, you know, if I had ever thought about it and what I would do. And I told him that told him about the little focus on the family fantasy. And he said, well, you know what that would do? That would give them more ammunition than you could possibly imagine. That would make their message more powerful than you can possibly imagine. And within about a week, I completely stopped thinking about that. But let me tell you, I know very well what it's like to be angry at religion. Prior to August of 2013, religion still had quite a stranglehold on me. Making me afraid of myself, no matter how many good things I did, no matter how much I would try to help people, no matter how kind I would try to be. Religion can really fuck people up. And I imagine if I wouldn't have had the support system that I did in my 20s, I might not be here today. I might have been another one of these statistics that seems to be becoming more and more common. And that's the really scary thing. So if you know someone who seems depressed or disconnected, they seem to want to try to avoid people in ways that seem different. Maybe you could try reaching out to those people. You may find a wonderful person 
you may find someone who is very hurt and is in pain. And you may find someone who's psychotic. But this latest shooting really, really has affected me. Very much. And again, I'm very thankful for the support system I had when I was in my 20s. Very thankful.